Monday. Motivational Monday. Monday is just, ooh, I already said today is going to be off to an awesome start. We're going to have the perfect flow to this day. I just smashed a quick workout. Did a little bit of back. Of course, we hit the booty. And uh, 400 calories, not even mad. I pulled up right when they opened. I actually had to go to the gas station because I'm driving up to Fairfax to get a chemical peel. I'm so excited. Like I've just been waiting these past few days um, with excitement to get this freaking chemical peel and I'm so excited that I'm able to get an appointment so soon. I've watched a lot of YouTube videos specifically on this type of peel that I'm getting because I've never had it before and it's like a medium to like a deep peel. Usually I'll do like a superficial peel, like a TCA. Um, and that's just very light where it's like maybe five days of peeling and even then like maybe two of the days are really bad But I wanted something deep. I wanted something to just sloth off this texture kind of lighten up my pigmentation Mostly on my cheek area. That's like my problemed area and my skin has been doing so well and honestly It could be a bunch of things. I've been eating a lot of produce I'm gonna have to say that's probably number one is I've been doing a lot of fruit smoothies and then making sure that I add a green vegetable in a lunch and a dinner and I just feel like that's doing it for me and also I'm doing supplements and I'm taking Alani New Balance I'm still taking that every day I'm taking Alani's immunity gummies which is a vitamin C and a D supplement and I'm also supplementing ashwagandha to keep my stress levels low and I'm a high stress person with my cortisone levels so that just sparks up a lot of breakouts on its own so I think with those like supplements like everything is just working for your girl so this is supposed to be like a seven day peel which is why I wanted to get in an intense workout today and um 
you know sweat as much as I can because you're not really supposed to be working out and when you're sweating it can irritate the skin and cause inflammation um, and like rashes and make your skin really itchy on top of the peel itself so working out is not necessarily ideal so I don't know what your girl's gonna do for a week without hitting the gym pray for my booty gains okay so I'm gonna go to my house take my pups out one more time because it takes an hour to get there um, and then the peel itself shouldn't take long. It's literally just wiping acid, like cleansing your skin once, and then wiping the acid twice on your face from the videos that I watch. And I just love YouTube for this exact reason, being able to share your own experience from like a real person, someone that you watch on the regular, someone that you trust like your friend, versus... I don't know going into it blindly not knowing what to expect and most importantly like the downtime and the actual peeling process so i want to show you guys in this weekly vlog every single day and um the care like my night routine and my morning routine with the products and the before which is why i'm here right now and then the after towards the end of the week and i'm excited because my birthday is next month so i already knew that i wanted to get a chemical peel way before my birthday and if it goes well and i like it i want to get another one in four weeks so that way by my birthday we won't have to wear makeup we'll be looking flawless without it you guys so let me actually get a close up i'm sweaty from the gym so disregard that it's that natural sweaty glow for me but my issue here is just the cheek area and it used to be so much worse but be because i'm taking alani's balance it's works with your hormones to like lighten up and brighten the skin which is like the pigmentation and stuff that i have so it's not too bad but it could be better i don't have any breakouts considering i'm on my period right now and that's amazing for me um my forehead has always been pretty clear but there's like some spotting here and obviously I have texture and pores and it is a little bit clogged So this peel that I'm getting which you can see in the title is a VI peel It helps with all of that you guys getting rid of the texture if you have wrinkles or aging skin That doesn't really apply to me But more so like killing off acne and helping with like your oil glands I know I have pretty clogged oil glands and the buildup and stuff can really cause your skin to just be clogged and get more acne and breakouts and stuff like that so i'm like i'm so pumped up you guys i'm so pumped up it's 8 15 oh i gotta go i got 15 minutes thank god i'm early because i don't know where in this shopping center this place is and it's so funny, I can walk to my grandma's house. I'm in Vienna right now. I think my grandparents are in Alabama, visiting my aunt. Um, so that's so funny. I need to figure out where this place is. I have 10 minutes to um, go inside and I have to pee. So it says it's a one minute walk. And oh my gosh, I'm. S it must be in front of me. I'm so hungry. That's not it. Am I in the wrong park? Oh my god, don't tell me it's in the next shopping center. I'm so confused. Also, my mom lives a little too south for me. It's just so far from everything that I want to be, like an hour from DC. Like, I want to be closer. That's why I love Fairfax County because I grew up in Fairfax County, went to school in Fairfax County, from grade school to college, and I don't know, I just feel like I know my way around the area more and it's so close to like Maryland and DC. Like I just feel like, I just love being connected. You know what I'm saying? Like I love the DMV and it's growing on me again. Is that weird? Comment below if you're from the DMV area. I just need to know. But, oh, <laughs> I'm gonna get my life together, figure out where this place is, go in and get this chemical peel and show you guys what I'm looking like when I get back. Sorry for my hair right now, I had the windows down so the edges are gone um yeah y'all see this sleep deprived <laughs> so um here's my problem area it's not as red as it used to be it's more uh brown now i think because of my hormonal supplements that i'm taking that helps to fade it internally so i'm just really hoping to get a lot of that just peeled away that's like my goal post peel 
and I know I'll probably need another round afterwards as well if you stack them back to back at least four to six weeks you get better results just from like personal experience so that's my face <laughs> Ooh. dude that was the quickest appointment my face stinks <laughs> after getting this but the office was cute. I did get lost trying to find it. It's a little red. I have to do care in four hours. So, oh my face smells so nasty, like nail polish acetone. Don't be caught in the sun, y'all. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Bro. That was the quickest appointment, y'all. It's 9.42 and I definitely was like three minutes late because I was walking around this parking lot trying to figure out where is the office. It's over there, I'm over there. It was a mess. But um, she got a little on my lip and I don't really want my lip to be peeling off. So already I like this. And the um, feel of it like all she did was she opened up the kit so when you buy it this was the original they said um they have a stronger one for like 199 this was like 149 or something but anyway so the peel comes in here with like um, a wipe so she wiped my skin first to cleanse and then she opened up the acid for the peel with like a towelette she wiped it on my face one time and then she went through and did a second layer it just smells like acetone nail polish remover mixed with gasoline i don't know it's not pleasant the way that my face is smelling right now so my face is super sensitive i would wear my mask but i don't want it to take off the product you know what i mean i want it to kind of penetrate my skin so in four hours i need to follow up with the aftercare 9 45 i got the peel done 10 11 12 1 45 is when i need to actually do something to my face and you know my skin was a little bit red as you guys saw me walking out of the office and i feel like it's calmed down enough for me to go out and get a coffee um i really want a coffee and i still have to pee so i'm just gonna put all this stuff back in the baggie so i don't lose it and i think i'm only about oh my god it says 52 minutes to get home y'all this is why i live in narnia i'm telling you <laughs> um yeah also i got this chemical peel on groupon and the lady was telling me yeah next time don't get a groupon and i'm like okay <laughs> like does it really matter you still got my money she said next time just call the office it's 149 for what i got today and then 199 for a stronger peel so i might do the stronger one the next time i'm trying to see how much i actually paid for this i think it was like 69 dollars honestly on groupon ma'am so of course i'm gonna go on groupon anyway I'm just going to get some things from Target. I don't need the candles. <laughs> get distracted. This cart is so janky. I'm embarrassed. You guys, I love this Target. Honestly, it's making me think of LA just because of uh, the shopping center it's in and stuff. I love it here. My face. She's starting to tingle a little bit. I dropped that stuff off in my car, but I just want to show you how pretty it is here. I'm gonna get coffee and then bounce, but. They do like roller skating for summer. That's the coffee shop. There's Lululemon, a bunch of restaurants, a movie theater, just so much stuff here. And apartments, obviously. Is it raining? I'm confused. <laughs> but there's so many more shops and restaurants down here, you guys. 
my face is burning too much. I got to go. Let me see. Um, guys, this place is so cute. This is my favorite coffee shop, Mom and Pop. I think they have one in DC. I don't know, but here's the mosaic. I'm not gonna walk around or anything. Then turn right. Like when I was leaving the office, she's like, don't use the Groupon next time. Like you need to make an appointment and pay. And I was just like, Ugh. In my mind, I'm thinking, oh, okay, but like, why are y'all put a Groupon out there if you don't want the people to use the Groupon? So I was like, all right, but she said that whatever I got today was usually $149 for the basic, and then they have one that's stronger, which I'll probably do in four weeks. That's $199. But the Groupon was such a good deal. Like, don't put shame on me for that. Like, don't be putting that exactly. out there for the people. <laughs> but um, other than that, it was super quick. So I would try it out and then I'll let you know if I recommend it for you if you want to try it yeah yeah but I'm in crazy traffic it said 52 minutes to get home because I went to the mosaic to go to Target and um, my favorite coffee spot nice So tired I just want to take a nap so it's 1 30 I remember getting in my car after the appointment at 1 45 but I think it's gonna be fine if I go ahead and just do this right now so I'm gonna use one of these VI post peel towelettes there's three of them and it says to cleanse your face and pat dry gently so there's only two of these like packets of cleanser and it's supposed to last seven days so make sure you don't use the whole packet just to cleanse your face because it's probably not going to be that much to last you that long so my skin doesn't hurt or anything it doesn't really burn i feel like it looks regular maybe a little bit more red than usual so i'm just going to put you guys down here for a second and let me wash my hands first because i don't like to touch my face Unless my hands are clean so this is just like the first thing I have to do post peel and I'm excited to go to sleep because <laughs> I just had a very long day this is gonna be messy to kind of store So I'll just put it like upright so it doesn't spill everywhere. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna use a little bit of cleanser. Oh, I already took a body shower when I got home, but I made sure I almost got my face wet. I was like, girl, <laughs> don't do it. So I'm gonna be taking warm showers during this process just to make sure that my peel doesn't get um, messed up because the steam can really affect the way that your skin peels and I don't want it to peel too early. Apply the VI Peel Post Peel Towelette to all areas where the peel was applied. 
use a gentle pressure and then discard the towelette and wash your hands. So I'm assuming this has additional acids on it. Oh yeah, this looks just like whatever that lady... Oh, it stinks. I don't know why I did that. You see this yellow stuff? It looks just like whatever she was wiping on my face. So this is probably going to make it peel even more. So I got the peel obviously all over my skin. Okay. This doesn't stink as bad, but... Okay, this is kind of rough, like the texture of this cloth. It's kind of rough, like a light sandpaper. And I don't want to get this on my eye area. See, every other peel I've ever gotten, I never had to do anything like this. So that's why I'm expecting to have really good results. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So now I have to wait 10 minutes. And then I need to apply a thin layer of the post peel protectant. And it says you can wear makeup as normal. Why would I do that? Don't, don't put makeup on this, you guys. If you want to get the best results, don't be putting makeup on your skin. I understand if you have to go to work and stuff, but girl, try not to do that. I just want to make sure I really got this stuff on my face. Hopefully that's good. Okay, this is what we're looking like. Um, my skin looks very tired. <laughs> looks like it's been through it. I don't know, but I'm gonna wait 10 minutes and then I'm gonna come back and apply step number three. It looks like, um, wait a minute. I don't know, but my neck is itching a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just like a face cream. I know, Leroy. Give me a minute and I'll take you all your tea. This is very cooling. I like this. Hey, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. So it's a little bit early right now for dinner, but I knew that I wanted to make a charcuterie board, but I'm going to make my own personal spin on it. You guys, I'm going to do a dairy free charcuterie with vegan cheeses so i'll show you guys that here in a minute time for a little wine night you guys i've been wanting to try this out since i picked it up last week and this one is the black girl magic red blend super cute label let me just start off by saying i am the type of girl that buys wine based off of the aesthetics i'll go for the cute label any day you know it doesn't really bother me so this one is the red blend Surprisingly enough, they don't do a Cabernet, but this has like a cab in the blend. And I love the oaky taste. So when I initially read this label, it sounded like something I would definitely like. It has flavors of cherry, plum, cedar, and vanilla. Like that just sounds so cozy and just like delicious. So I'm going to bust this open in a second, but I wanted to read the label to you because the label, when I was like in the store, like the label just... It got you a girl. Okay, so first of all, this is black owned and women owned. And this is a 2019 in California. But listen to this. It says black girl magic is more than a phase. It's a feeling, a look, a mood, a taste. The black girl magic collection is our personal ode to the culture and story inspired by the magic and resilience of black women to be enjoyed by all. We created these wines to draw a parallel to the culture, beauty, and style of black women as a means to inspire, inform, and invite in all who appreciate and respect what black girl magic truly means. Our red blend is smooth, voluptuous, and full-bodied with flavors of cherry and plum, cedar, and vanilla. So I'm really excited about this. I don't mind a red blend at all. Um, so I'm going to try that out, but I had to FaceTime my mom because what is this? This is the only wine opener she has, and this this is doing too much for me. I, I don't know if we're going to be able to get this open, but there's another piece to it. So I'm just so simple. I just use the basic KitchenAid wine opener. <laughs> 
So we're gonna see if her tutorial is gonna come in clutch, but this is supposed to remove. Oh my God, I can't even do step number one. <laughs> and I'm gonna be honest, whenever I open my wine, I don't even take off the foil. Do y'all really do that? Cause I just put the corkscrew right through it. Ciao. I don't know. Pray for me though. <laughs> this is embarrassing. Y'all are probably screaming at me in the comments. Okay, she said to open it, pinch it, use some elbow grease. Oh, I think I keep it. Oh my God, this is so embarrassing. Oh my god, okay, well see, <laughs> that's why I don't need to remove the foil because it's gonna pop off regardless. <laughs> yeah, I was like, mom, what is this? Yeah, I don't know guys, but I'm excited to make this charcuterie board because um, I like to snack and it's also high protein. I definitely would put turkey on there too, but I don't know because I wanna have like shrimp for dinner and it's almost 5 p.m., so I don't want to eat too much before my meal. How do I get the cork out? Oh, my God. I need the cork. It smells amazing. Oh, my gosh. I like my reds lightly chilled. I'm not even going to lie. I don't like them to be super cold but that was in the fridge oh my god what i feel like i'm gonna cut myself y'all are gonna watch me struggle in this vlog way too freaking much okay put that back in here anyway if you want this wine opener i guess i'll put it on my amazon i don't know some people are fancy i'm just basic i don't need all this extra stuff like every other kitchen gadget in the world it's just not my thing you know okay so for my leave me alone for my charcuterie actually should we pour some wine first i think we should do that I think we shall. Beautiful. I'm excited, guys. Ooh. I was thinking, you see how I'm struggling? I'm like, oh, maybe I should pour it on the Instagram story, but I can't. <laughs> A mess. Kayla, girl. Sorry, guys. I don't like messes, so, you know. I have to clean up as I go, otherwise the Virgo in me goes crazy. I'm gonna story this because why not? Oh my god, you know like when you accidentally open the camera and it's facing you and you just got a chemical peel and you're like a tomato and it's just like, whoa girl, <laughs> you're doing too much. Oh my god, I thought the fridge was open, but it's just the TV. Pray for me. The cheeses that I got, I got from Wegmans. And I think I said this before in a grocery haul from them. I feel like they have some of the best variety of vegan cheeses, even compared to Whole Foods, you guys. So what I have here are two different like cured meats. I've actually never had prosciutto. Prosciutto? prosciutto oh my god i'm embarrassing myself today it's basically just like a ham and it's very salty and then i have some uncured salami i usually get like peppered salami it's a little bit spicy but i couldn't find it at the market and then for the vegan cheeses that i have here i'm not sure if i'm gonna use this i'm not sure this will be good on its own some vegan cheeses are a little odd like they have to be melted in order to taste decent um, just like the texture and everything sometimes uh, but this one is coconut oil based and it has potato and rice starch I know the ingredients are a little weird but even to me it sounds odd but I try not to let that throw me off from trying new things but this is the Vio Life, and a lot of you guys actually recommend this brand I can't eat a lot of their stuff though because it has cashew 
and I have a nut allergy. But when I saw this, I was like, wow, that sounds really good. It's dairy, soy, gluten, lactose, nut, and preservative free. I think this was like $5. And then this one is the Dea jalapeno style block. So this one I can cut myself. I've had like a pepper jack style um, from So Delicious. So I've never tried this brand. I know they recently reformulated it from their original stuff. So we'll see how this tastes. I think I'm gonna cut it into cubes. And I also have, um, well, I don't know. I might try these out. I've been wanting to try these. This might be a cute little snack. Oh, and I have grapes. Kayla, girl, get all the things out, please. You gotta have the grapes to kind of balance out the flavor of like the cheeses. So I grabbed these crackers. I love entertainment crackers. I usually will get like, Trader Joe's has the best crackers. So if you have a Trader's, definitely go there. They do like variety packs. They have so many fun like, um, like spicy crackers just go there and just buy all of them but i love a good water cracker and these are uh, no uh-uh no we're not doing that tonight y'all hear me uh-uh nico mm -mm. Mm -mm. it was hard finding these at wegmans that were dairy free because a lot of them had milk ingredients so this one is just a whole wheat, whole wheat cracker. So I thought this would be a good alternative as well to get some options in there. And then these are like a crispy, crunchy pea and chickpea snack. These are also vegan and gluten free. And these are more on like the savory side of things. So I thought this would kind of be good for the cheeses as well. Uh, first ingredient is chickpea flour. They also have rosemary, turmeric, salt, and that's pretty much it for the flavoring. So I thought this might be fun to kind of add. I don't know. I will taste it and then we'll decide. So I'm going to kind of put this board together. And obviously you need like a cutting board. I like a wooden board. This isn't my personal preference. All my cute ones aren't here obviously. But Trader Joe's just released like an olive board. It's like circular with a handle on it. And I want to get it. It's like $25. I saw it on Instagram. Um, and I have a board like that that they released, but it's a little bit smaller. And that's what I like to use for my uh, boards and stuff. So definitely check there if you have a Trader Joe's um, or even Home Goods and Amazon. I'll put some on my Amazon as well for you guys. So I'm going to kind of put this together. Let me try this wine and Guys, I'm a mess today. I'm just tired. That's what it is. I was interrupted from my freaking nap because my face, like I don't want to lay down on my face and then get them. It's a mess really. So let's try to see the stems on this. I see, I see some stems going on. By the way, this wine was almost $30. And I don't pay that much for wine. I'm gonna tell you that that's that's a little too much for me. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. Only because it's very cold and I don't like my reds to be cold. I almost prefer them to be at room temperature, but that was in the fridge overnight. So I'm gonna let it marinate for a little bit get some oxygen in there and once I have this board out I'll taste it again and let you guys know what it's doing <laughs> so I'm gonna put it on some pop smoke actually I'm gonna listen to some French rap and put this board together and say a prayer because these dogs are driving me nuts somebody already threw up today and I know who it was because it was all over his mouth bless his heart It's bigger than you. Give me that toy. <laughs> ah, I got it. Oh, Lira, you know you wrong for that. <laughs> you already know what I have on. 
Messy, messy, messy. Yo, I'm on season three. This one right here, not her. This girl right here with the curly, she is a mess. She is so messy. This is just like my solo night in, honestly. Just a little special wine night with some fun snacks. Y'all know I had to get my protein in. I didn't cut up that Parmesan because I'm scared, guys. I'm really scared. I am going to try this out for you, but before I mess up my presentation, I wanted to kind of show you guys what I did. You can get so creative. You can add so many fun things to this. You can add jams and spreads and other berries, chocolate covered strawberries, like literally whatever you wanna do. Mix up your crackers and your cheese and meat options. It really can be whatever it is that you want. Um, also update on this wine. It is hitting. It is amazing. It's definitely better for me personally not to have it super chilled. Um, I like it more, like I said, room temp. And the flavors, oh my God, the flavors are so nice. Um, I poured so much because I had to re-pour a second glass for my Insta story. I messed up on that first one. So don't think that I drank all of this. <laughs> Not yet, at least. But I can definitely see myself buying more of their reds to just try them out. Um, I do like this. I definitely think I'll buy the red blend again because it's really yummy. Um, and again, I love supporting black women and... The, the label, the aesthetics, everything is just so my vibe. And I think it goes with like my little solo date night. So it's a nice little treat yourself moment. I'm trying to upgrade my life, okay, and stop buying those cheap bottles of wine. <laughs> I really don't mind. I think it's super cute. So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys my board. I don't know why the heck these crackers, half of them were broken. Uh, but they're so thick. Mm, not my favorite. That's what I get for not going to Trader Joe's. And obviously, I had to get what I could get that was dairy-free. Uh, but these water crackers are amazing. I don't know if you've ever had them. You should get them. I want to try this prosciutto because, again, I've never had that before. So let's do a little taste test. By the way, my set is lounge. Found it when I was doing some decluttering. Oh, y'all see the booty gang? It makes the bum look so... Thick. Or maybe because we just are getting <sighs> thick. Y'all, my butt grew an inch and a half. I just did my measurements. Okay, I'm procrastinating because I'm scared to try this Parmesan cheese. It doesn't smell bad. I don't like it. I don't like it. Oh, no, I don't like that. Not on its own. Mm -mm. I'm not buying that again. Not that I really remember what real Parmesan tastes like. Guys, I haven't had cheese. I haven't had dairy since 2016. What year is it? 2020? Oh my god, it's 2021. Wow, 2020 really was a blur. <laughs> I forget that existed sometimes. Um, that's a long time. So I don't really remember what cheese really tastes like. Did I just waste my time making a charcuterie? The cheese isn't hitting how I wanted it to. Mm -mm. I need to cleanse my palate. I just feel like vegan cheese, it's so tricky. I mean, I like it melted on like a grilled cheese sandwich. It's amazing. It tastes like the real thing. But when it's raw, it just doesn't... It doesn't give me that cheese, like what I remember cheese being like. Obviously, it's going to be different, but I don't know. A lot of them also don't have a lot of flavor to them, or they all just taste the same. You could buy a Swiss, a Gouda, um, an American, like it all tastes the same in my opinion. But the pepper jack tends to taste like something because there's spice in it. So, 
I don't know, I might just be a meat and cracker type of girl. <laughs> is that so basic? And let me just say, vegan cheese is expensive. And also, there's no like nutritional value. Like at least with real cheese, you know, you get the protein. There's nothing like that in vegan cheeses. So there's really no nutrition. You're just spending money to get something that tastes like it, but it really doesn't taste like it. And you're spending a lot for it. So I'd almost not even just eat it because then it's still wasted calories, you know? I don't know. Mm. And maybe it's just because I can't try the cheeses that are like cashew based, that are more creamy. You know what I mean? So I don't get that texture. Wow, that was quick. I got my Skims refund. Wow, five star customer service. I don't know. Yeah, I'm just not feeling this cheese. I think the, um, does So Delicious do a block? Let me know your favorite vegan cheeses to do a charcuterie with. Honestly, I did this for you guys to just show you some ideas that you can do at home. Um, that can be something special to have like wine at home and get that experience of going out without having to break the bank necessarily. Um, yeah, I think next time I would get rid of the cheese, add some turkey and some other like cracker options and then maybe do like chocolate covered strawberries in addition to the grapes. Cause I like the fruits and stuff too to kind of add some flavor to the meat options. I don't know. It was fun, it was cute, it was therapeutic to put together. This wine is nice. And honestly, I just had um, a wine tasting at home, you know? So I'm gonna try this ham and see if I like it. It doesn't taste like anything. <laughs> it's not really salty. I don't know what's going on. I don't know anything at all. All I know, is it looked cute. Anyway, um, I have to stay up. I mean, it's my bedtime. I wanna go to sleep, honestly. <laughs> but I need to finish with my skincare before bed. So I'll see you guys when it's time to do that at eight o'clock. I don't even have a watch on. All right, it is not even seven, but it says to do the night routine an hour before bed. And I'm about to get in the bed. I guess they wanna make sure that it like soaks and absorbs into the skin before you start laying down and going to sleep so i need to wash my face with the cleanser and then apply the second towelette and then wait 10 minutes if my skin is feeling itchy and or just apply the cream or whatever so that's what i'm about to do i am so tired i just took all the dogs out and Honestly, I just want to get my butt in the bed. So, hopefully I'll have enough cleanser, I don't know, for this week. They don't give you that much. And my face does not um, burn or feel irritated right now. I'm going to really go in with it. You can hear how rough it sounds. Also, I just feel like my pores right now are so enlarged. Like, I can see every pore on my face. It smells like straight up alcohol, rubbing alcohol. Yeah, I can see some redness. Shut up! Sorry, guys. I'm just tired. Alright, I guess this is good. I don't... I don't know. It definitely has, like, an itch. It doesn't, like, sting. It just feels like I just want to <laughs> scratch my face all night long. But I really just want to make sure I get all this towelette on my face. 
So I can be peeling really freaking good. So I want this thing to work. The last chemical peel I had was a PCA. And if you keep up with the vlogs, you know I didn't really peel from that and I feel like it was a waste of my money. I am gonna add my own eye cream because I cannot stand itchy eyelids. You know, I like to keep that area hydrated. And right now they're just really dry. So that's gonna be it for my night routine. And I will see you guys here in the morning for the morning routine. It's Tuesday morning and I'm about to do my skincare, which I think is just super simple. I really want to go to the gym, but I'm going to tell myself, no, not today, Kayla. It's just like weird because at this time I'm like, I should be at the gym right now. So I'm on day two. So I just need to wash my face and apply the two creams. One of them is an SPF. I'm not going to be outside. It's going to be raining, but you still want to protect the skin. So I'm not really looking any different. My face feels just a little bit dry, but not even really. So. I already have my coffee, I'm gonna edit some videos, do some work today, and be productive. I'm not really gonna do anything worth vlogging today, just so you guys know. I'm so behind on uploading and editing videos. So I'm gonna basically just be playing catch up. I'll see how this white cast just won't ever rub in. Guess we're just gonna have to let it absorb. Anywho, I'll see you guys later. Hey, good morning you guys. It is a Wednesday. I have been scrubbing the house with Fabuloso all morning. So it's just super clean. I'm actually gonna leave here in about an hour and a half to go to DC to pick my mom up from the airport. She's been gone like five days or something. So I'm really excited to have her back in my life. But I don't really remember what I left you guys off with probably in the morning yesterday when I was doing my skincare. And that night, I just followed the routine of that last tell light thing. And I didn't really update you guys just because my skin looked like regular. It looked like I didn't even get a chemical peel. I forgot I even got one. I was just like, is this thing even going to work? <laughs> but I woke up this morning, showered, and noticed some peeling. Y'all see this? Look at this. It's starting around my mouth, which is where I talk most. And this typically happens with peels because your skin is being kind of stretched and moved in more directions versus your forehead. You know what I'm saying? There's really no movement up there. So I'm really excited to see something going on. I feel like my redness, like my hyperpigmentation prior to having the peel was a lot more faded, but after getting it, I feel like it kind of intensified the pigmentation, which is normal. So we got some crusties. This is what I mean, like it just got more red. I don't know if you guys remember on Monday, I feel like it was a lot more faint. Dryness, this one's a big flake right there and I'm not gonna touch it, I'm just gonna let it do its thing. I don't want to scar or irritate my skin. Um, it's not itchy, it doesn't hurt or anything like that. Um, it just feels like regular, but I'm hoping to get a deep, 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 deep peel. I want to be looking like crazy insane by tonight, hopefully. So I'll definitely come back and update you guys on the peeling process if I notice anything drastic. But I'm going to be getting some work done. I want to get a vlog edited, hopefully before I have to head out and leave here this morning. Um, also... I booked a flight somewhere and I just booked a hotel so I'm gonna have so much fun 
prepping for this vacation and I ordered some clothes last night like I was talking to my homeboy and we're just like anyway I'll get into that when I get into it in a couple of weeks but long story short I'm going out of town for my birthday celebration so I'm really excited about that because guys I have not been well the last time I went somewhere was in May uh, which was for Bev's birthday in New York so I'm just really excited like I'm excited to get glowed up. So this was actually perfect timing for me to go and get a chemical peel because my skin will be looking flawless and I'm excited to like, I don't know, treat myself and do a lot of um, leveling up in the next few weeks. So you guys will be able to see that um, in the next two weeks or so on my channel. I do not know why the dishwasher is beeping so abruptly. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I just wanted to pop in and update you guys on everything that's going on. And I'm just really excited. I'm so, so, so excited. This is maybe, like, my fourth weekly vlog consistently. Um, and you guys are loving them. And I thank you so much. I just feel like, I don't know. I love doing them because it's less work for me to do because I just have to edit once a week instead of editing daily vlogs and posting them. But I also feel like... I'm not giving you enough content like only once a week like I don't know like I like the longer vlogs I don't know I don't know like I'm conflicted so I don't know what to do uh, hmm. <laughs> so I'm also just trying to get used to not being like on YouTube every day with a new video if that makes any sense you know some days I want to be like Trisha Paytas and uploading like a million videos but I just need to kind of chill out and get used to uploading you know once or twice a week i think doing weekly vlogs is cool and then doing like a weekend vlog as well you know those three days friday saturday sunday um and then like monday to thursday or monday to friday just depending on what's going on and all that stuff so i'm gonna stick with this and see how it goes <laughs> pray for these dogs because they're driving me crazy <laughs> but i'm gonna go get to work and i will catch up with you guys in a little bit. I have been editing. I got my vlog exported. I still have to think about the title for it and then do the thumbnail, but I didn't have enough time to do that before it was time for me to go. But my face is getting a little itchy, which that tells me that maybe we're about to start peeling even more. So hopefully, again, by the end of the day, I should see a significant amount of flakes on my face but i gotta go to the airport and starting route to ronald reagan washington airport i got here so quick i pulled over into like some sanctuary lot because i don't know where the the airport lot is and i already drove around twice so i'm just gonna wait here for my mom to get her bags and stuff and then go back and swoop her my face is still itching you guys and honestly this week is gonna be so boring and also just my mom goes I'm starving I'm sure you are um I haven't been going to the gym you can't really work out with this peel especially when you actually start to peel because your skin is so fresh and so when you sweat, it's very salty and it'll definitely irritate and make you so itchy so it's not really recommended but I'm like, ooh, I really want to be in the gym right now. So I'm trying to like be busy and preoccupied with work and not have to think about the lack of the gains from this week. But they did say that sometimes your peel will be five days to seven days. So I'm hoping I'm more on the five day round. It just depends on your skin and everything else like that. But I feel like I'm peeling even more. Oh yeah, like right in here. Yeah, I need to go home and put some of that moisturizer on. I have the sunscreen on, of course, because I'm outside. So, I'm hoping it's five days, you guys, because I can't be out of the gym for seven. I can't do it. I don't know. But it's 10.40 in the morning, and I'm in D.C. right now. It's hot outside. Actually, it's nice. Nah, it's hot. Y'all want to go on a um, field trip? <laughs> I 
Let's go on a field trip. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, let's see. Let's go see what this is. Just a little field trip. I'm not really sure what this is, but looks like a great place to pull over and wait for someone to land at the airport. But, um, I don't know, at least I can get like my 10 steps. <laughs> I'm embarrassed. I barely hit a thousand whenever I don't go to the gym. This is kind of cute. Oh, I don't know if I want to go down there. A lagoon full of life. Okay, nature. Oh no, baby, we see some snakes. Um, I'm good without that. Okay, this is where we are, you guys. Looks like a great place to sit and meditate. Should we go down here and see what, I'm scared. I don't do nature. It's about as close as I'm gonna get. But how peaceful is this? Some butterflies over there. Thriving, you guys. Look at that. Or they moths. Oop. How do I zoom out of here? Oh my god. No, I did not put enough SPF on for this, but that was my excursion for today. <laughs> Love to see it. I'm gonna go back in the car where the air is. And, um,. I don't know if we're gonna go eat. My mom says she's hungry, but girl, that traffic going home, it's gonna be a minute. It will be a minute. Just trying to mind my own business, you know what I'm saying? I'm really trying to get better at vlogging in public, you guys, but I low key be having anxiety. My heart be wanting to pound out of my chest. So. Oh, my mom just got her bag. Look at that divine timing. I'm gonna wait three minutes because I don't want to keep driving in circles. <laughs> That's annoying. And one time I got a ticket at the airport. <sighs> like y'all don't have anything better to do than to ticket people at the airport and ruin their vibes of seeing their loved ones? No. Eat my little snack. I brought coffee. Look, this was my second coffee today. Granted, this was like half of a cup because um, I was editing, but that coffee's not giving me any energy. I don't know if I can keep buying that brand. I just had Chipotle. We went there, took my mom after I picked her up. And by the time I finished, I washed my hands, I looked in the mirror, I said, hold up now, we are peeling. <laughs> this is what I want. Um, I'm gonna watch some other like VIP videos because it just makes me feel better going through the same process as somebody else on the YouTube. So I just wanna see like what they're doing on their day three. It's a little itchy, you know, where the skin is peeled, but I'm not going to touch it. I'm just going to let it kind of just fall on its own. And I should also note that I'm going to wash and change my sheets today because I don't want bacteria from, like, my hair to get into my fresh skin and then cause breakouts and stuff. That's just something that I want to do so that um, my skin can stay nice and clear. So pro tip always 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 especially if you struggle with acne prone skin make sure you always change out your sheets um and pillowcases i would say like twice a week at least 
it's so itchy. I just like tap it. Cause, oof. But yeah, that's just what I'm up to right now. Just that I would kind of pop in and show you guys. We have some progress. Some progress. Oh my god, my face. Oh. Bro, it has never itched this much. So I'm gonna do my night care routine. Oh my god. Everything itches. Mm. But it's peeling. Like a lot. Mm. That's so gross. But in a weird way, I'm happy, I'm thankful, but girl. Oh, I don't like that. Okay, I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow in the morning and we'll see what's going on because. Okay, so I've freshly washed and moisturized. Definitely saw really big pieces in the sink in my face, but I'm not mad. The cream definitely burns a little bit now just because my skin is kind of raw. They say to apply this, you know, as needed. Um, obviously, I'm going to bed, so I don't need to do the SPF. Sorry for the light, but wow. gosh also day four of this vi peel and i really started peeling last night i didn't really have good you know lighting to show you guys but look at that mostly at the bottom half of my face inside my nostril very odd <laughs> i am going crazy this morning i'm like oh my god can i please go to the gym like when i tell you you have so much downtime it is ridiculous I have no work to do. I'm literally all caught up with my edits and these aren't small edits. I've gone through hours and hours and hours of footage just in these four days alone. I've already chopped up three videos that are at least an hour long, fully edited them, exported them, and uploaded them unscheduled. So I've watched all the episodes of Housewives. I'm all caught up on Love Island, although there might be an episode to watch this morning. But I'm just on Google like, okay, like, can I go to the gym now? Like, it's not the first day or second, but I know my skin is kind of raw. You shouldn't be doing like vigorous exercises. So I'm like, maybe I can do some light lifting. Like, just give me a weight or two because I'm itching to like go to the freaking gym. If you guys know me and you keep up with my vlogs on the reg or you see my Instagram, like I am always in the gym every day. So... I'm going crazy. I'm really going crazy over here. So I'm about to wash my face right now, hoping to get some of this skin off. I have not peeled it, cut any of the skin. You know, it's hard enough not to itch my face, <laughs> despite how like itchy it is around the flakes. So I'm hoping that some of the water will allow it to kind of peel gently. And the trick that I like to do is just kind of go in circular motions to lightly exfoliate the dead skin off. I've had enough peels in my day, you guys, to know what to expect and how to kind of speed it up. <laughs> because I can't, I cannot have seven days, you guys, of this peeling process. I'm going to lose my mind. I'm just gonna lose my mind so I just want to update you guys on that um, I don't know I really want to go to the gym I guess I'll see how my face is looking um, once I wash it also I have a hot coffee today like who is this girl honestly I'm not mad so let me wash my face um, I guess I could use this sink over here um, and maybe you guys can see me a little bit better Sometimes it'll peel more, so I guess we'll see. <sighs> I just want to go and do some legs, man. Like, it's hard being cute. Like, you can either be cute on the face and work on your skincare, 
but you can do both. You can't work on your booty gains at the same time because it just doesn't align. And also make sure that you don't wash your face with hot water. I've been doing lukewarm because your skin is so sensitive. Look at this. <laughs> oh my gosh. Even going outside to take the dogs for 10 minutes, my skin burns like the sun. Your skin is so sensitive, you guys. Ew. Ew. <laughs> Pieces are falling down the drain. That's disgusting. They're big, too. That's nasty. Definitely slothed off a lot of that. You can see this is the fresh skin. This red skin up here is dead. So that still all has to peel. So you can really tell the line. So I'm gonna put the post treatment and then follow it with my SPF. As far as this peel, you guys, let me actually give you, I don't think I actually gave you, oh, it's burning, the true definition of what a VI peel is. Cause I've done every peel. I've done PCAs, TCAs, um, um, let me give you the actual definition from Google. This is burning. But I would do this again. I have had pills, like I said, many times. My skin used to be terrible. If I can have like a picture, I'll put it on the screen of where I started before the peels. Um, this, I've never peeled so soon. Like, I think I started seeing peeling skin lightly on day two, which never really happened. So I like the effectiveness I'm getting from this peel. And this is just the original. They have stronger ones. So I would definitely go in and try the strongest peel now that I know how my skin reacts to it. Um, but the process of it, the steps, like, they're very easy to follow. And I feel like those towelettes that I was using the, for the three days or whatever really intensified the process and that's probably why I was peeling so quickly so I do like this peel and I definitely recommend it if you have similar skin to me and concerns that you want to target like the acne um, active acne as well it's great for that and killing it off I know I used to get peels when I had a lot of active acne and it was literally the one thing that just got rid of all of it so a VI peel is a medium deep chemical peel that penetrates the top layer of your skin and it reaches into the underneath layer. Like other chemical peels, a VI peel works by exfoliating the skin and stimulating the production of new proteins. That's exactly what you want, especially if you have, um, what is it, like a lot of sebum built up into your pores, which is what I have. And that's where my acne is kind of triggered because it's just clogged underneath my skin and my pores and stuff so i get that cystic acne and then because of that you know they pop you get the scarring like it's just an endless freaking cycle so whenever i get these it kills everything and i have a new layer of skin it's fresh it can breathe similar to getting like hydrofacials those i swear by them i just swear by them so this says that it's made up of tca vitamin c Salicylic acid, which kills acne. Um, tretinoid, I don't know if I'm saying that right. Ferinol, so it is a TCA base. So that's interesting. And you can get this on your face, chest, eyelids, hands, and back. You can put this on your eyelids, I would never. And yeah, of course you guys already know the benefits, I had talked about that earlier. So now we know it's TCA based. I love this. So, yeah, like I'm just saying, like, all the products I could buy, all the skincare at Sephora, um, I could follow your favorite influencers, skincare routine, and I would still have acne. I'm just telling you, I've literally tried everything under the sun, and this is the only thing that actually works because it removes the dead, built-up skin that's clogging my pores and keeping me in that freaking cycle of constantly breaking out, purging, breaking out, purging, maybe having clear skin for a week and breaking it again, you know? So, baby, I get it. <laughs> I am the first person to understand the struggle, okay? So I don't mind paying whatever, and like I said earlier, I found this on Groupon. You can get a VIP, like, 
the way that it's done, it's just so easy to apply. I don't think anyone can mess it up, especially when you're doing a lot of the stuff at home. Like, it's just very easy to follow. So get a Groupon, you guys, and try it out. It's definitely worth it, in my opinion. So I'm going to let this SPF soak in. It's definitely burning a little bit. Um, I'm a, I'm going I'm gonna go to the gym. <laughs> I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna go. I just can't like I don't know how people do it. So don't come for me in the comments. I don't recommend it. I'm gonna tell you this now. I'm not telling you to go to the gym, but I personally am going to the gym. Maybe I won't do intense long workout. I'll see how it goes, but I just cannot do this any longer. I'm going crazy. Ooh, now that I did that, got some more peeling here. Oh my God, okay, so I am parked, pulled up at the gym. I have never been so excited <laughs> to be here. And you guys, I'm always excited to go to the gym. So I'm just gonna put a mask on. These are on my Amazon. I like the pink ones, I don't know. I like a fresh mask every day or every time I use one because I don't wanna get acne. I used to wear the cloth masks, but those were just breaking me out. And I think it just had a combination to do with like sweating or if you wore them with makeup, your breath is hot. Like it's just a steamy sauna in there. So we don't have the time for gross skin. So ever since I started using these, my skin has just looked so much better. So I keep them in my car and you can get like a pack for like super cheap. Um, so I'm gonna wear this today in the gym because it's gonna cover up all the peeling. My nostrils are peeling in the inside. So it's a little itchy in there, but at least no one is gonna have to stare at me and I'll feel more comfortable, you know, not looking like a snake um, in the gym today. coming out of my skin for me um but that was such a good workout i did a whole cardio day and then i did some legs pretty much that's about it um i'm starting a whole new challenge for myself and you guys know i love to do little challenges what? aka setting mini goals oh by the way my face doesn't look any different um, I gotta go wash it off for sure when I shower when I get home, but I need to go to the grocery store. Just made a protein shake for the booty gains. And I took my shower and a lot of my skin came off in the shower on day four. So it makes me think that tomorrow will probably be like the last day that I'll be peeling. Thank goodness, because I'll have seven days, okay, to be um, peeling and having that downtime and being out of the gym. So, again, I don't take hot, steamy showers, but I did my SPF and my moisturizer, and you can see there's just some crusties, and you can see it's all up in my hair. So, that's just the update on my skin right now for day four, and I'm really excited that a lot of it just swathed off, which makes sense in the shower, you know, your skin gets a lot softer. So as long as you like gently rub in circular motions and you're not aggressively washing your face, you're fine. So yeah, I'm gonna have my smoothie, get some editing done, and I'll probably come back tomorrow, of course, the week of my life on Friday and let you guys know what's going on with the skin. So hopefully you guys are enjoying these little mini updates on my first VI peel. And I'm excited to see what my skin will look like in I would say about seven to ten days after like getting it just because my skin will be a little bit red more sensitive and it'll take a little bit longer for it to kind of 
go back to normal with all like the fresh raw skin and everything um and i don't want to put makeup on until i know for sure that my skin is healed because i've done that before in the past and girl makeup has so many chemicals it just burns and i just feel like it causes more redness and more irritation so i don't want any of that no negativity in my life so i'm definitely staying away from makeup until i know for sure my skin is properly healed and whatnot good morning you guys it is friday aka day five i feel like this vlog is just becoming coffee and chemical peels because every day i have a different type of coffee in my hands and i'm just obsessed so i woke up this morning and got ready for gym obviously i'm going to work out i don't feel like the gym affected my skin in a negative way but that's just me um today a lot of my skin came off when i washed my face in the sink i just saw bits of it in the sink gross but very satisfying to know that this is basically a five-day process for your girl so i will say with that i need to actually put on my moisturizing products and i'll chat with you guys here while i do that leroy come here so i'm a little bit red in the face sorry for the bathroom lighting and i know by the 10th day that will all subside and like this raw skin will kind of become regular skin but when i tell you i have zero texture on my face girl what texture my face smell smells feels baby smooth already on day five and when i say this is my favorite peel that i have ever done in my skincare journey and it's been a very long journey for those of you dolls that have been keeping up with me on my youtube over the years like my skin used to be and the fact that I started peeling so quick into this peel and it's day five and my skin is pretty much all gone, except for maybe like around my forehead, I would say. That usually takes the longest, like in my edges, I'll have some flaking and stuff. But for the most part, like we are looking really good. I don't think that my workout affected my skin in a negative way yesterday, but that's just me and my own personal experience. Again, I'm not going to advise that you do it, especially on the first few days because you really want that peel to absorb your skin and soak in and take so that you don't sweat it out and then you don't really get those results that you're looking for um so that i understand but day four i was already like peeling so i don't know don't come for me in the comments you know what i'm saying um anyway i'm putting on the spf because my skin is going to be super duper sensitive but this redness that i have here you can tell it's well, first of all it's the cast from this sunscreen for me but my natural color is not this red so my face is a little bit inflamed naturally after putting chemicals on it and shedding your skin for five days straight so usually by the 10th day or the seventh day it will basically go away and that redness because sometimes the peels can either darken your um pigmentation or make them a little bit more red in my case and that usually goes down so in my next weekly vlog i'll give you guys a full update once my skin is healed and show you dolls what it's looking like afterwards but i am so happy i did this like it was very satisfying i'm not gonna lie the only thing was just like the itchiness <laughs> that's about it so i put a little bit too much sunscreen but that's okay it'll absorb but i highly recommend that you guys do this peel i don't have any breakouts on my face right now and being that my birthday is coming up like this was the perfect opportunity for me to do this and i think i'm definitely going to schedule another one in four to six weeks which is when you can go in and get another one done so if you guys are interested in that i think i want to try the strongest one that they do comment below and i'll be happy to kind of share that experience in this video but i just wanted to leave you on this note that i'm obsessed with the vi peel i think it is just top tier and easy to follow at home aftercare super quick when you go into an esthetician i was literally there for 10 minutes in the chair mostly i was there signing the form okay that took longer than actually applying it um and you can always find good deals on groupon and stuff so why not take advantage of that and try something that you've never done before but i don't know if i have much peeling left 
My lips are a little dry. Um, oh yeah, okay. I have like some like random flakes, but I don't feel embarrassed. Like yesterday, I was so embarrassed. I couldn't even drink my water in peace at the gym because my mask, you know, is covering all that that nastiness. Today, I feel confident going out in the gym without my mask on um, to cover up that 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 mess you know what i'm saying but look at this there's a nice little bit of glow and there's zero texture um i feel brighter despite the fact that i'm a little more red but like i said give me a few days i'ma look delicious <laughs>